Hey guys, um, I tried doing my May wrap up earlier and I got a little tongue tied. I tried doing it twice. I got frustrated, so I'm going to try again tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully the day after that on Sunday, I will finally do my giveaway. Um, I meant to do that last weekend, but I ran out of time, so I didn't. Uh, so I decided I just wanted to do a quick Friday reads because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys about what I'm like in the middle of in a while. Um, last we spoke, I was in the middle of a ton of stuff and I still am. I've got my little shelves where are they uh yeah those books and those books are books that I've started and haven't finished and I've got a couple down here too that I also have not finished that I've started uh so I find that because I am constantly reading multiple books uh, my problem last month was basically that I was picking up and finishing other things in the time that I was still reading mostly the stolen bicycle that one really is kind of weighing me down I'm going to finish it though I do like it, so I'm going to finish it, but for some reason, I just like couldn't pick it up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to be reading new things, so I've decided that I'm going to be trying to read, you know, certain things. So I would like to be focused on a large book, so currently I am trying to work on The Stand by Stephen King, and then when I'm done with The Stand, I've got Les Mis waiting for me right here. Uh, but I would really like to finish this by the end of the month. I am almost just about halfway and it's mass market. I've got like 700 pages. I feel like if I tried, I could actually do it. So working on a big book. And I'd also like to be working on an anthology or like a literary journal. So I'm picking this back up. I started this during March Mystery Madness and then put it down at the end of the month and have picked it up since. So, you know, stories ideally one a day probably not going to happen maybe one every other day that would be nice and then uh the book that I am like still working on is out I am now about halfway through um and it is so good uh the problem is, is that I have like ruined my brain and how I read and because of the seasonal reading challenge I like want points for books and I can't get points if I haven't started the book in the season so you're like, Stephanie, uh, reading's for fun. I know, but it's fun for me to do these weird task things. So I am still trying to read this, but this is kind of like mildly on the back burner, like 30 minutes a day kind of reading. And the thing that I'm focused on right now is Just Smith, or Just Smith, Just Kids by Patti Smith. So this one, I'm uh, just over halfway. I would have liked to have finished this already because I started it on the first um, and it is so good. I was really nervous to read this because everyone loves it. I don't listen to Patti Smith and I don't know who Robert Maplethorpe is. And so I was like, does this book apply? Is it relevant to me? And you know what? Yeah, it's really, really good. So um, I listened to her first album when I like started reading it. Um, but yeah, I am 100%. I might not finish this tonight because uh, it's kind of late. It's almost 10. Uh, but I'm 100% percent finishing this tomorrow. So once I finish this book, I am going to start two more books. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I am going to be starting a uh, buddy read of the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin with a Doris. I almost said Dora. It's because I've got another book called Dora that I'm trying to read. Uh, Doris from Aldi Books. Um, so we're just going to be reading a chapter a day. So that's why I'm like, I want, I want to be, you know, like really actively reading kind of one thing. And so I feel like all these, these things that I've showed the stand, um, out and the anthology and then this one is like a little bit kind of each day not something that I'm like really really focused on so when I'm done with just kids I'm gonna pick up the man who mistook his wife for a hat by Oliver Sacks um, I'm really really excited I just read the uh, like in intro intro kind of and then I just read the first paragraph of the introduction to the first section called losses and I'm like so excited and geeked out right now um I am a nurse and I'm very and and I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and a bachelor's degree in nursing so I'm into this 100% um I'm really 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 excited um I'm hoping that this isn't something that I'm gonna feel like I don't think so but it's like you know a, a bunch of different stories of different people with like brain disorder type things and so I'm worried that it's gonna I'm gonna get the thing what happens when I read short stories where I get like kind of sick of it but I think since this is like a very science and like you know it's like it's nonfiction. I just I don't know I feel like I feel like it will be okay so yes those are the things that I'm reading and I really yeah so 
yeah, I feel feel good about my plan right now. I just have to follow through. That's the problem is the follow through. So um, anyways, uh, I hope everyone is having a great time. Hopefully tomorrow when I get home from work, I can watch everyone else's Friday reads. I can see what everyone else is doing because again, I got behind. I'm like a week and a half behind on freaking booktube videos again. So yes, let me know if you're reading anything exciting. If you've read any of these books, if you have anything to say to me and I'm sorry if I talk too fast. Bye-bye. Uh,